Hi, good morning. We are here with Dr. Adriana Rocha Garcia, Councilwoman Adriana Rocha Garcia. Thank you so much for joining us today and love your Palo Alto College shirt. And um, we're going to be talking a little bit about, um, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, what's going on with the city of San Antonio, what are some of the challenges um, that are currently going on, and as well as some of the things that we could do to, to help. Um, but let's begin with some of the some of the things that are going on in the city of San Antonio. So, um, Dr. Rocha Garcia, what are some of the things that you would like for um, members in the community, or students, and community members in the South Side and in San Antonio as a whole that um, the city is doing to uh, help us during this time uh, of COVID-19? Sure. Well, thank you, and thank you, Dr. Garza, for having me on the Platica show this morning. And I'm excited uh, about being here because I get the opportunity to tell you all that we're still working really hard to protect our community. And so we are fully engaged with um, groups of experts in, in the different areas, of course, um, before we make any decision. And so um, we have a group of healthcare experts that you know recently came up with a plan on uh, how to make sure that our community stays safe when um, we open back up certain areas in our city. I, and so facilities and businesses, et cetera. And so I'm really proud that the community has really rallied together and wanted to um, share, if you will, knowledge with one another, um, because that's an opportunity, I think, uh, for the entire community to partake in something that's going to be very critical to the health and the future of our community. Um, so we continue working. I, uh, I've been telling people that I feel like I think we're even working um, even longer hours because there's kind of like no no stop, if you will. So usually like when you're at the office and or at a neighbor, neighborhood association meeting or something, you go home and then that's kind of like it, you unwind. And so, um, but with technology, you're always plugged in. And so you always get calls and you can always take a Zoom meeting or you know, WebEx or Teams or whatever platform you're using. I think I've learned all of the platforms um, pretty well by now. Um, and so we're in the same boat that uh, I think a lot of you all are who are still working and a lot of the students as well. So having to get used to uh, new uh, ways to communicate with your professors, um, with the advisors at the colleges, uh, with the registrar's office, the financial aid office. I mean, everything has completely changed. So in the same way that your world has changed, the city's world um, has changed and it's a, a great opportunity to learn um, to learn from what we can do and what we can do better for something that ha might happen again in the future. Yeah, wonderful. And so what would you say, um, so thank you so much. And I know that um, I've actually been seeing some of the media events and you've been doing videos to connect with the community, which is amazing. I've seen you um, still on uh, council uh, meetings going in um, to, to help protect our city and make sure that everybody's safe. We're very appreciative of that. And what would you say are some of the challenges that you've been running into or that you see um, coming in um, in the city of San Antonio? Sure. Um, so definitely one of the biggest challenge uh, is the digital divide. So it's something very real in our community. Um, we know that uh, San Antonio is one of the most uh, economically segregated cities in the United States, and that is unfortunately right now showing. And so um, as a city council, we decided that we were not um, going to let this uh, pandemic hurt those that were most vulnerable. And so we decided that we were going to invest in our vulnerable communities. And so we um, set aside some additional money. Um, we reshuffled with the uh, work of the city staff, who, by the way, is doing a wonderful job as well. Uh, it's not just your elected leaders that are doing this, it's city staff. And so I'm very appreciative that they get so creative, um, moving and shifting uh, budgets around, reallocating so that we are able to serve our constituents. We were able to um, basically get together $25 million to help folks 
who might need help with their rental assistance, with their utilities, with their um, grocery bills, et cetera. Uh, working with partners like CPS Synergy and SAWS and the San Antonio Food Bank, uh, we're able to leverage that money. Uh, we're also able to work with uh, different organizations like the um, San Antonio Apartment Association or COPS Metro or TOP. And so everybody is working together um, to make sure that we do not leave out those that really need us the most, especially during this time. Wonderful. And what would you say, um, so if you were talking to our students and the Southside community saying, you know, if we wanted to help, are there things that we could do or we should be doing to, to help our city as amazing our city is? Sure, um, I think the one thing that you can do is follow the uh, established protocols, the health safety protocols, if you will. So um, I know that some of you all might not think it's stylish to wear a mask, but it could be very helpful to someone else for you to wear a mask. Right now, there's a lot of things that we don't know about COVID-19, um, and a lot of people might be walking around feeling perfectly fine, uh, but they might have the virus, just be asymptomatic at the time. And so um, those masks, believe it or not, might help someone that uh, you love or maybe that you don't know, but you're really helping with that. Um, also with uh, keeping the physical distancing, the six feet apart is very important as well. And so I know that it's, uh, it's a time where we get to go back and, and start trying to do some additional things. Right now, we um, might feel a little bit more free to roam around, uh, but those practices specifically will help us continue to care for the entire community. And so it's gonna take all of us to just come together and say, hey, you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna proudly wear this mask or I'm gonna be okay keeping six feet away from someone uh, one day maybe we'll get to hug each other again, right? So I'm a hugger, and so I'm having a really difficult time, right? And so I've been elbow bumping people and stuff, and it's just not the same, but um, we're in this together. Well, I thank you so much, and you, you really hit on a lot of topics that we're dealing with at Palo Alto College as well as Alamo Colleges, um, such as uh, the digital divide. Many of our students didn't have the appropriate technology or their having bandwidth um, challenges because they didn't have internet at home. Um, so definitely something um, that we've had to work with as well to help our students. And then one of the things that, um, when you talk about wearing the mask and the style is, uh, the style um, with it, um, I remember talking to, um, to a parent and the parent had says, every, telling their child, every time you're wearing a mask, you're helping save lives. Mm -hmm. And that is really um, an important thing for us in San Antonio coming together. And here in San Antonio, we say that we're Palo Alto College family, but I, I believe in San Antonio, we're all family and working together. And so we appreciate your leadership. We appreciate everything that you um, are doing with the city and the city moving forward to keep us all safe and protected. And so thank you so much for joining me this morning. Very grateful. I saw um, another picture of you out delivering food on the San Antonio Food Bank lines. And so we're appreciative of your volunteerism and your leadership and really helping the Southside community and our community here in San Antonio. Absolutely, I'm here for you all. And again, we're all in this together. Keep wearing those, uh, the, those stylish masks and maybe one day we can get a Palo Alto bandana or mask or something to wear. All right, wonderful, thank you. Thank you.